I'm Deirdre de Burka, and I stand for a city that works better for all Dubliners. Dublin is a great city to live in, to work in and to visit, but it could work so much better for each and every one of us and for the environment too. A greener Dublin would also be a more efficient place to do business and an easier place to work. I firmly believe that green policies are not just about making the future better for our children, they're about making life better for all of us right now. Here's just one example of a policy that's having a very positive impact in another European city. Brussels has an integrated ticketing system for its public transport. I can use the same ticket on the metro. I can use it on the tram. And I can use it on the bus. In London you have information about when the bus is going to come, uh, you have integrated ticketing. These are basic ideas that we've always failed to implement here in Dublin. It's, it's only by having that strong European influence that we can make progress. And more cycling and better cycling infrastructure is definitely something that would make Dublin a better city to live in. If we look at European cities like Copenhagen or Amsterdam, 33% of trips are done by bike. There isn't the constant hum of trucks and cars everywhere. They're much quieter, calmer, uh, the air quality is much better. And in Dublin, it's maybe around 3, 4, 5% of trips. We could easily get beyond 10% and even up to 20% of trips by bike if we brought in the right policies, the right interventions, made the streets safe in particular ways, encouraged cyclists more and basically promoted it as a very positive way to improve the city centre. There are many amazing things that individuals and groups are doing here in Dublin to make it a better place to live that with a little bit of support and funding could have a much greater impact on all of us in this city and across Europe. My name is Bruce Darrell and I live in Dublin and I grow my own food and I try to support other people growing their own food and I try to help the city transform into a place where many more people are growing their own food. There's a common perception that you can only grow food in an allotment, which is basically a chunk of a field somewhere on the edge of the city. But in reality, you can grow food almost anywhere. Um, you can grow food on the balcony of an apartment building and some pots. You can grow food on the roof of a garden. There are community gardens, waste space in urban, in urban areas, in communities, in neighborhoods that can be uh, propagated and grown uh, uh, in gardens by a collection of people to produce food. Growing your own food, especially I think in an urban context, is the easiest and most effective pathway to a more sustainable city, to a friendlier city, to a cleaner city, to a safer city and a healthier city. Why is Europe so vital to making Dublin a better place to live and to work? Very simply, because 80% of all of our environmental legislation comes from Europe not from our national parliament. So if we in Dublin want to improve our own local environment, we need to be pushing in Europe for the right kinds of laws and the right kinds of funding to meet our own city's particular needs. As a member of the European Green Party, which is the only truly European-wide political party in the European Parliament, I'm lucky to be able to share ideas with other colleagues from across the European continent. For example, in my hometown, we have Sweden's biggest slaughterhouse. We use the waste from that slaughterhouse to produce biogas. And that biogas fuels all our buses and taxis for 150,000 people. We actually also save money because taxpayers' money do not need to be wasted on paying fuel bills to large oil companies, but it's actually recycled back into the local economy. So we are recycling not only waste, but also money. As your local MEP, I'll concentrate on bringing the best green ideas and technologies back from Europe. I'll push for funding for worthwhile local projects. And I'll make sure that the environmental laws that are made in Europe take account of the needs of Dublin, but also what we have to offer. I want to work for you in Europe to make Dublin a city we can all be even prouder of. Please stand with me. Please give me your vote on June the 5th.